Hey gang, uh, how's it going today? We're busy here in the shop. Well, this was a little video I wanted to do. I haven't done a lot of knife reveals lately. Been busy and then things change and then sometimes they're just not all that popular. Uh, a knife is a knife is a knife, right? No, no. Uh, the reason why I wanted to do a video on this particular knife right here is I wanted to introduce you guys to a fella. His name's Asia Sampson, and he runs Baptism Overland. It's a YouTube channel, he's a younger fella, and he's down in Florida, and he does very good videos. I came across him just happenstance on a YouTube search, just sitting around talking with my dad, showing him some things, and we came across Asia's videos, and uh, sort of really enjoying them. Um, he's new to the industry, he is showing a lot of product we don't have, um, any vehicles in common, him and I. Uh, he's got a Jeep and a Toyota, and of course, I had a Nissan and now a Ram. But got to watching his videos and both the quality of his videos and the uh, type of uh, qu uh, product that he puts out for everybody and how he explains everything was really impressive. So much so my dad, who's not much into YouTube at all, and Kasha both really enjoy watching his videos. So I reached out to him one time and uh, on Instagram, started chatting with him a little bit and a uh, really nice guy, uh, real busy. And uh, there's another fellow that he travels around with and uh, he's got uh, Overland Roos and uh, got to talking to Brad and a uh, really nice fellow too. And I got to thinking, you know, I wanted to do something to support uh, Asia and his endeavors going forward as a YouTuber and a creator. And in doing so, I noticed that he had a, a propensity of uh, liking knives and he's mentioned it a couple of times in videos and uh, so I reached out to him and we chatted back and forth and I decided to make him a knife. Now, this isn't a paid sponsorship, we got nothing going, I have no idea if you know, he'll get it, he might see it and be like, hey, I'll chat, okay, that's great, thanks, whatever, and go by. I don't know, he might do a video. I don't know, I didn't ask. I just thought I wanted to support him, and the one way I know of supporting a young creator and a YouTuber and a young family man is, hey, I'll send him a knife. He can share it with some of his friends and his family. Hopefully it brings him some memories. Uh, he probably had a good idea that I'm probably making him something because I reached out to him and said, hey, can you shoot me your company logo, your vector file or PDF or something like that. And he's like, yeah, sure. So he emailed it to me. You know, most people, I think if you're gonna, if a knife guy's asking you for that kind of thing and your social media has you happen to be laser engraving a bunch of stuff, you might have an idea that you might be getting something special. And well, Asia, this is for you, buddy. Um, I ended up getting um, a piece of CPM S35VN and I had a couple of uh, uh, smaller shape kitchen knives that I was going to work on a few years back and then I moved to Wyoming and got busy with life in general and then with my dad's situation everything just kind of forgot about them and a while back I was going through my box that I had for a shop box I keep my own little favorites there and I had these two cutouts and I had a marked overlanders and I got to remembering, oh my gosh, that's right. I was gonna make a smaller version of a kitchen knife set or a kitchen knife in general to keep in my kit as I travel around. And at least this way, if I'm prepping, if I'm doing meal prep on my campsite, whether by myself or with a group of folks, why not use my own knife? Why use a store-bought Wally World one or something like that? So. I was working on these on the side. I got to thinking to myself, you know what, this might be really nice to, to gift him and uh, just kind of show my support and say that, hey, you know, keep up the good work. Uh, so what I did do is I took um, I took one of them, I took the Santoku, I have a chef's knife and a Santoku, and I took the Santoku and uh, made it up for him. And I, I dressed it up the same way I was gonna do mine, and that's with stabilized black walnut and just a double pair of nickel silver pins. Just something different, again, nothing too fancy because you know, you're traveling around. Um, it's nice to have something custom and unique, but I didn't wanna do anything too fancy because then you kind of feel bad taking it and leaving it 
it near your kid or something like that and you know or leaving around a campsite or something so um, hopefully Asia you do enjoy this knife hopefully you're gonna like it a lot again I don't know whether or not he's gonna do a standalone video or anything I might he might but uh, I didn't ask him to I was just sending this out to him just to show support so I made a little swag box for him and I wanted to send this knife off to him but first I wanted to share it all with you uh, so again it's just a simple Santoku I actually don't even know the measurement of it I have to get a ruler here I think I got one over here here we go uh, we're looking at ten and a half inches overall length and we're looking at about two inches deep so it's two inches wide and uh, ten and a half inches long. It's got a really nice rounded handle. It's not as figured as some of my other knives, but uh, really, really cool. And I did this black and olive, uh, the blaze orange topography. I thought that'd be pretty cool. He did say he likes these kind of colors, and I have noticed uh, how he trends towards uh, some of those. Um, and I also know that when he does his knife reviews, he's always shaking it and doing things. Well, as you'll guess what, it's not falling out, pal. <laughs> it's actually pretty tight. So, but but that's also to keep it from bouncing around or you don't want to get the see you don't want to get all that rattling inside your your kit when you store this in there and everything so there you go but uh, anyhow I just want to share this and again look up this channel it's called baptism overland um, I have something here Ella could do her fancy work could put something here as well as maybe a link down in the description of the uh, uh, here on YouTube. I'll uh, put that out there. Check him out on Instagram as well as Baptism Overland. And he's a big supporter in the veteran community as well. He has done some things in the past. He actually donated a uh, um, radio, a Midland radio, I believe it was, to a uh, Purple Heart veteran down there in Florida, somebody he ran across. And again, Brad is, um, rides around with him a little bit too. And uh, he's pretty good. So check out uh, Overlander Ruse, I believe, is his channel. But uh, anyhow, gang, I do appreciate all the time. Uh, I didn't want to make a, too long of a video for you, but just want to introduce you to, to uh, Asia, as well as Asia's new Overlander. So y'all take it easy, have a good one. Remember, like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Keep me from the bottom YouTube bucket. Hopefully you're gonna have a great Christmas and a happy new year in 2024. Got a lot going on over here, I know that. So y'all take it easy and have a good one.